Kansas. A largely open landscape covered in a sea of grasses and agriculture, stretching from the banks of the Missouri River in the east all the way to the flatlands that lead to the looming Rockies to the west. Most people know that millions of years ago, where cowboys and railways would later dot the grassy plains, Kansas was covered in a wide ocean. This vast ocean was known as the Cretaceous Period's Western Interior Seaway, and it contained a wide multitude of creatures, like Sternberg's famous Zephactinus, and ended up being a large factor in creating Kansas's most noticeable quarry, limestone. But of course, Kansas wasn't always just an ocean, and didn't start its existence in the Cretaceous period, and it wasn't always just home to fish and pterosaurs. There once was an era where Kansas was not only an ocean, but a shoreline dominated by giant, ancient bugs. Wedged in between the geologic eras of the Devonian 360 million years ago and the Permian 300 million years ago is the age of amphibians, the 60 million years we call the Carboniferous period. The Carboniferous itself is separated into two smaller eras, called the Mississippian and Pennsylvanian. Kansas faced many different changes throughout both of these smaller subperiods. During the Mississippian, sea levels rose drastically due to the melting of Devonian ice caps. This created an inland sea sat directly over Kansas. Higher global temperatures turned what is now Middle America into a muggy, swampy mess, if it wasn't already covered in a humid ocean. In fact, these swamps are what gave the Carboniferous its name. Large coal deposits were created by the massive amount of plant life that was covered and pressurized. Many rocks at the surface here in Kansas are actually from this period. Some of them might even be found in your driveway if they're gathered from local sources. Rocks like limestones, shales, dolomite, and some sandstones are older than some later rocks and come from this period. Most of these rocks are marine, with a large volume of which coming from when all of Kansas was covered by an ocean, but a few shales and limestones betray ancient coastlines alongside coal, a dead giveaway for terrestrial areas. The end of the Mississippian, 232 million years ago, precipitated a massive drop in sea level again, and with it retreated much of Kansas's inland ocean. Eastern Kansas carries many Pennsylvanian-era fossils. While most of western Kansas was still underwater, a small sliver in eastern Kansas became a shoreline and developed swamps. Kansas's coastlines changed constantly under rising and falling seas, even aside from this major sea level drop. Most of the time, though, Kansas was underwater. A lot of water. These aquatic areas in Kansas carried a wide multitude of fossils, which can be found in modern-day formations across the state. Like the Pillsbury Shale Formation, which houses fossils of things like brachiopods, like this Neospirifer, and marine gastropods, like this Amphiscapha. Other formations across the state, like some in Anderson County, contain teeth from ancient lampreys called conodonts and corals. In those brief drier intervals, a thin strip in eastern Kansas also held on to some more terrestrial animals. Some trace fossils of early amphibians have been found, implying the existence of limnopus in the state, as well as some found in Douglas County that suggest a large amphibian called Wakarosopus existed there. And the precursor to dinosaurs, early lizards, left behind remains in Garnett. But the Carboniferous was largely dominated by plants and insects, and this was no different in those short outcroppings of not-so-dry land. Fern trees, like Lycophyta, are commonly found here. Trace fossils of insects like giant scorpions and dragonflies that floated through the highly oxygenated skies are also apparent in soft rock from the time. They were everywhere, and grew to such a massive size because of the high amounts of oxygen in the area. Of course, the move to the Permian designated a large drop in atmospheric oxygen, which got rid of all the big bugs, and kept Kansas moving forward in time into yet another geologic era.